Hi, it's John. It's the 31st of July, and things on the allotment have got a bit out of hand, really. There's no good worrying about it. Um, I tidied these tomatoes up about a fortnight ago, and they're coming unreasonable. And I picked some more. <laughs> I've picked, picking them, picking them. Um, they're doing all right. The blackberries are coming well. Um, as I've said before, the blackberries around this area, there's quite a lot of sort of cultivated ones. They're big. They are big. If I pick, pick that, you'll see how big it is. I mean, I've got big fingers, but that is big. Hmm. Meat now. Hmm. And they're tall. They're about eight feet tall, aren't they, Helen? They are indeed, John. They're very natural. <laughs> They've naturalised. Are the Jerusalem artichokes the ones with the red um, tubers? So big red tubers, and they're I'm six foot six high, and they they must be eight feet. They are high, and I'm hoping that they'll have lots of lots of tubers on them, and that not too many slugs on them this year. So uh, I need so I need potatoes. Um, now these look like good self-set potatoes here. Uh, no blight on them at all. They're not really bin flowering properly yet, so it's a bit early to dig them, but um, if I start digging them, then it'll clear an area through here, and I'll know where I am a bit. It may just start, won't it? I've got some, some old carpet down here to uh, keep the weeds back. Some, when you put carpet down, you always get a lot of things that decide to live underneath, underneath it. Mice and I don't know what other sorts of rodent. Oh, not too dry. Except I don't spear them with a fork. No, nope, none yet. There's a big thistle. I don't want that. Ah, here's, here's one. It's a red potato. Quite a big one. Slightly rodent. Slightly rodent. Nothing much here. Oh, the land is coming up in great big lumps. This fork has got an iron handle, so it's very heavy. scab but add another. Let's just pull this one up. Aha! Another one. If you don't get them out, you don't know where they are for the next, you know, if you don't get them out whilst the, the tops are still alive, you don't know where they are to dig them up. There's not a lot here. I thought there'd be more. Get the baby ones, not much pop. Gloves with me, so I hate a good potato.
This is uh, Woody Willow Herb. Got to be careful though, there's a lot of brambles in here that uh, are ready to prick me. Reality of the allotment garden. Now, that's not a very big one, but it might have something on it. Let's see what it's got. Oh. Aha! Another red one. Oh yes, now we're doing better. Good to have some uh, have them as a reasonable site. Oh, I know, see why it's, why it's uh, difficult to dig there, because I've got some old uh, some that black matting. Last year I put black matting down. And I've got a lot of onions along here somewhere. Oh, more potatoes, yes. Any that are too ratty, no. This shape, and I can always boil up for the chickens. I think chickens like a variety of food. You know, if you try to feed them on potatoes all the time, I don't think you'd get on very well. But uh, occasionally, they, do, they will tolerate. Garlic. Oh, elephant garlic. Well, I've got some. You, you couldn't sell these in the shops. They're, they're not good enough. I mean, you can sell some of them, but not, not really. This land here is a bit too... Uh, near the stream and a bit clay and far too many pests down here. Um, anyway, you should be able to get some meals out of that and these these bits here for the chickens. <coughs> oh yeah, and some garlic here as well to uh, give a bit of flavour. Right, bye for now. <coughs> oh yeah.